Hey guys, it's Coach G here. I uh, bring you another one of my favorite recipes. Uh, actually, I kind of jacked this from a post that someone posted in the Fit, Fine, and Fabulous group. There was a video and it shows you how to make something like this. And I'm like, oh, I think I can do that. So let me give you a picture. This is what it is. Looks yummy, right? Yum, yum, yum. This is fresh. I just made it. Um, this has spaghetti squash in it, spinach, fresh shrimp, um, a little bit of bacon, shallots, uh, some cilantro, and some red pepper. Um, and that's pretty much it. So what you do is, you actually have to buy the spaghetti squash. The spaghetti squash is very hard when you first buy it. So what you should do is put it in the microwave, punch a couple holes in it with a knife or a fork. Put it in the microwave for about four minutes to soften it up just a little bit. While it's in there, you can preheat your oven to 375 degrees um, and lay some parchment paper out on a cookie sheet. And the reason you want to do that is the juices from the spaghetti squash actually will cook onto the cookie sheet and make it very hard to clean the cookie sheet. Also, it just makes it, well, it's easy. It makes it easy to clean up. And for some reason, spaghetti squash cook, cooks better when it's on the parchment paper. So once it comes out of the microwave, you chop the spaghetti squash in half, scoop out the seeds and the like pumpkin-like guts, scoop that out, throw it in the trash, or you can roast the seeds if you want to roast the seeds. They're like pumpkin seeds. Spray or just coat a little bit, uh, um, use a little bit of olive oil to coat your the inside of your spaghetti squash, sprinkle it with a little pink Himalayan salt and some pepper. Turn the cut side down onto the parchment paper, throw it in the oven for about 30 minutes. Now, while that is cooking, what you can do is you can take some bacon, and yes, I use real bacon, but what I did was I cut the fat part off. I don't like the fat part, so I cut the fat part off and then chopped up the meat part into little, um, diced it up into little pieces, and then I sliced some shallots, threw that in a little bit of olive oil in my pan. So here's my pan. If you want to see it, I'm trying to get the hang of this camera thing. So there's my pan. I cooked everything in this pan other than the spaghetti squash. So saute the, um, the onions and the uh, bacon in the pan um, until the bacon is cooked and the onions are nice and brown. And then um, what you do is throw in the uh, fresh shrimp. So I deveined and peeled my shrimp and threw them in there with the bacon and the shallots and make sure that the shrimp cooked until they were pink. Then I actually, this time I bought some low sodium chicken broth. There's like three fourths of this can use, so I didn't even use a lot of it. Um, and threw a little bit of the chicken broth in there along with um, some of this Flavor God Everything Spicy Seasoning and a little bit of this Flavor God Garlic Lover Seasoning because, you know, garlic is strong. So I used that, threw that in there, um, and then threw in a little bit of the cilantro and the crushed red pepper because I kind of like some kick to my food. After I did that, um, the spaghetti squash was coming out of the oven. You shred the spaghetti squash with a fork. It's very easy and that makes it look like the spaghetti. Threw the spaghetti squash in there with some spinach. Got that all nice and cooked up. And then pretty much it's done. You know, you just let it, let the, the spinach, you know, um, cook through. The spaghetti squash is already cooked. So you just kind of want the spinach to get cooked. And then I plated it. Um, when I plated my spaghetti squash, um, I put the spaghetti squash on the bottom, threw a couple of shrimp on top, and then I topped it with feta cheese. Feta cheese is like my new thing. So topped it with feta cheese and voila, you have a meal. No carbs because it's all vegetables and protein. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any questions in the comments below and I'll be able to answer them for you. Bye.